ABTV is a product of the AV Journalism class produced for the students of Amateur Valley High School. The views expressed on the show do not represent the views of AVHS teachers, admin, or PUSD personnel. <laughs> Good morning, Dons. Hope you're having a great day. Today is Thursday, April 11th, and I'm Gigi. And I'm Mateo. We're your AVTV hosts for the 30th show of the 2023-2024 school year. Along with our weekly AVT broadcast, make sure to follow us on Instagram at AVHSinfo to get the latest news from around campus. Hey, Mateo. How was your break? It was pretty good. Well, since we're back at school, I'd love to know what's changed around campus. Well, we sent our AVTV reporters to find out more about what's been happening in the small gym since the fire last month. Let's take a look. Amara is working hard alongside the restoration company and insurance company to restore the small gym and cafeteria for use. Before spring break, they were able to bring back the small cafeteria and a serving lunch, so make sure to use both of the cafeterias on campus. As new updates on the restoration progress, we will report back. This is Ritika Gupta with AVTV News. Well, to find out even more about the fire, we've been covering this story extensively on our website, amadorvalleytoday.org. Now we have our first commercial. Dons, did you know that we have an AV ice hockey team? To find out more, we sent our AV TV reporter, Ritika. Let's check it out. One thing that students are surprised to find out here at Amador is that we have our very own ice hockey team. The team has been playing in the e-ball league since the early 2000s and were even league champions in 2018. With games every weekend and playoffs in May, the Amador Valley ice hockey team is laser focused on dominating the competition and bringing home the victory for our school this year. We play all of our games at Dublin Iceland, which is uh, the closest one to Amador. It's about I don't know, 10 minutes away. We have a really good team this season. We play really well together. We're expected to make it to the uh, playoffs and go Dons. Make sure to check out their games at Dublin Iceland and support the team during the rivalry game against Foothill on the 19th. This has been Ritika Gupta with ABTV News. Well, last week the Pleasanton Downtown Association hosted their annual scavenger hunt. We sent out ABTV reporter Anjali Bamarker to find out more. Let's take a look. The Pleasanton Downtown Association hosted their annual bunny hop event this year in partnership with the Stratford School on Saturday, May 23rd for families with kids 10 and under to enjoy. Starting in front of the Museum on Main, here we have Gabby Welk, the events director, to discuss the event. So we love to put on free family-friendly events for the community to come downtown and then enjoy all the fun shops and the restaurants here afterwards. Many businesses participating and we split them in half. So 10 are part of Route 1 and 10 are part of Route 2. So we have about a thousand people that come and we split 500 each way. We didn't know it was going to rain, but all of our events are rain or shine and we're always prepared either way with tents and everyone seems to have brought their umbrellas and rain coats. Despite the rain, everyone still seemed to enjoy the event. Many lined up inside Museum on Main to take photos with the Easter Bunny with their families. A lot of kids went to the petting zoo and enjoyed. There were booths and stalls set up for kids to look at and there were two bounce houses and many other activities such as hopscotch and archery set up. This has been Anjali Bamarker with AVTV News. Okay, Dons, it's time for a weekly trip around the campus. This week, AVTV reporter Cora Curtin went out and found more of news, announcements, and other information that you need to know. And she put it all together in this week's Around the Campus in 60 Seconds. Let's check it out. Hey, Dons, I'm Cora, and I'm here to take you around the campus in 60 seconds. Seniors, we have a lot for you today, so buckle up. Any senior who's taking a course outside of Amador needs to make sure that their transcript is received by the office by next Monday, April 15th. You can find the form at bit.ly slash 3xz6yz9. Additionally, the FAFSA opt-out form is due tomorrow, April 12th, so make sure to fill it out if you're not going to be submitting the FAFSA. Remember that this is the home stretch, and seniors will need to complete 230 credits, 20 service hours, and finish all graduation requirements with a grade of D- or higher. If you need additional help, after-school peer tutoring happens Monday through Thursday in the library from 3.30 to 4.30. Make sure to wish good luck to our JV and varsity tennis teams who will be playing Foothill next Monday in their rivalry games, as well as our stunt team who will be facing off against Doherty Valley for their senior night. Lastly, we'll be having a fire drill next Tuesday, April 16th, after 5th period. That's all we have for today. This has been Cora Curtin with Around the Campus in 60 Seconds. Dons, don't forget how important it is to stay connected. You can find out everything going on 
around campus by going to amotorrallytoday.org or follow us at AVHS Info on Instagram. Also remember the leadership Instagram at AVHS Dons where you can find all the Spirit Weeks and other ASB activities going on around campus. Well, that's all we have for today. Make sure you hang around for this week's birthday grams and check back in with us next week for more news, announcements, and profiles. And remember, Dons, it's always, it's always a, a beautiful, beautiful day, day here at Amador. Amador.